versus gammon. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I know it's been a little bit. Uh, been busy doing The Chosen, working on the web series and that. Uh, right now I'm working on the first episode, and there's a lot involved. So, I mean, if, I don't know if anyone watching has done anything like that. You know, if you're working on doing an, uh, a web series or an indie movie or whatever. There's a lot that goes into it. And normally you would pass it off to various departments or various other people that were helping you with it. If you can do that, hey, great, more power to you. That's not my case at the moment. Uh, it's a lot of just passing things back to myself. So, that, you know, it's a lot going into it. But it, in the same breath, when you see the end result, though, it even though it's been taking a while, I think ultimately in the end it's worth it. Just because, you know, everything's in-house. That having been said, I'd also like to draw your attention to the book. That's right. Twin Pines is the official book one of The Chosen. Mm -hmm. So, if you didn't watch the independent movie that I made, you can read it. In fact, even if you have watched it, you would do well to read the book because there are entire scenes that were not filmed that are in the book. The reason they weren't filmed was scheduling and access to locations and whatnot. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes independent filmmaker reasons that they weren't filmed, but they're in the book. And yes, it's going to be an ongoing series. Me and Jenny are working on... Wrapping up book two and an anthology series set in the Chosen Universe. So be on the look for that. It's going to keep coming. It's uh, around 362, 366 pages, something like that. Uh, yeah, there's no page numbers at, at the top corner. But, you know, I kind of think page numbers get in the way sometimes. You know, it's a book. Read it. You know, who cares if you're on page six? Use a bookmark, you know. And it's chapters. There's a lot of chapters in here. So it should be pretty easy if, you know, when you buy a copy, you read it for an hour or two, whatever. You got to put it down, go to work, you know, brush your teeth, use the bathroom, whatever. You got to put it down for whatever reason. It's usually easy enough to find your spot. But use a bookmark if you need to. Uh, page numbers, I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I've, I've read books with page numbers. I've read them without. I don't know. It's, it's sort of a preference thing. Uh, I'm okay with them, I guess. Not a deal breaker, though. So, buy a copy, help support independent artists. And, and you know what? Even almost as important as buying a copy is, leave a review. Even if you don't like it, leave a review. Why? Because that shows other people that might be interested in buying it that it's a real book, that it's a real story, that it's, it's actual work that's been put out there and worth being looked at, as you can see, it's, it's a pretty decent sized book. Like I said, you know, it's uh, maybe a size up from your standard paperback size, which I've noticed over the years, the, the book sizes have changed. So, you know, whatever that means. From my own personal research, this, the size of this book comes in at about the size of some of the soft cover James Patterson books. That's right, this station break was brought to you by Low Batteries. That moment when you realize you have more to say and not enough battery power to do it. I have to say I'm happy with the way it turned out. Both as a story and as a finished product. Like I said, you can buy digital or print if you like the smell like the smell or sound of paper. Yeah, get a copy. Yes, I'm showing it again because I'm happy with it. I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Oh, there we go. Getting some glare on that. Back here you get to see it though. The box. If you are familiar at all with the story, you know what the box is. If you aren't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. You're going to have to buy a copy and read it. 
So yeah, I'm happy with the way that turned out. That's nice and eye-catching. Which, truthfully, that's what you want. But, seeing as how this is my video, and I'm doing a shameless self-promotion, if, if you know us, and you like us, buy a copy. Paperback would be good, because it's, it's real, it's tangible, you can touch it. But, save a tree. Buy a digital copy. If you don't know us, buy a copy. Then you get to know us. Paper or digital. Or, in the rare case that you're one of these people that doesn't like us, but you're still watching my videos for some reason, buy a copy anyways. This video was actually in my head. When I first thought about doing this video, I was planning a whole different thing. I was going to do a setup where you got to see me Writing, you know, kind of those, those artsy meta type of things. Like you see me, I'm I'm recording. There was this whole thing in my head when when I got my copy of the book that I was going to do a video where you got to see me at work on on either uh, the episode episode one of the chosen or on writing some of book two. And then the more I thought about it, the less I liked the idea because I'm not entirely sure anybody wants to see me writing in my underwear. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's not as sexy as you might think it sounds. Like, there are some people that would be sexy with. Like, if I could hire them and then you could see them writing for the video, like a, a, a dramatic reenactment of it but starring hot person in underwear you know that could work I'm, I might do that for the next one I just have to figure out maybe I'll do two I'll do I'll do one for the guys and one for the for the women you know because come on let's be honest I'm not a sexist you know if somebody wants to watch a, a hot dude writing a book in his underwears I ain't gonna stop you Someone wants to see a hot chick writing a book in her underwear. I ain't going to stop you. You know, fuck it. It's, uh, that's what I'm saying, man. So maybe next time I do it, that could be that could be fun. Still waiting on a bus. Jesus Christ, people. Really? That was the bus in which I said we were waiting for. Okay, so...